I think the reason why I agreed with myself, and it was uh, an agreement, and it's in the daily writing, I'm sure, because I talk about it a lot. I, I believe that creativity is an addiction because I was having a tough time back in the 90s trying to understand what creativity was. And then one day, I, I, just, I just realized, wait a second, I can't shake this. I can't get rid of it. As evil as it feels at times is as great as it feels in other times. I can't get rid of it. It must be an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I almost feel like I'm breaking some sort of rule. That I'm in this nice warm recording studio at 8.15 in the morning. The sun is just kind of just stretching its arms right now. It's not fully in the sky. The forest is naked without its leaves. And I look down at the computer and it says it's only 29 degrees. And I, I, I just feel like that, that I'm ripping off the rest of Mother Nature, that, that if I truly love these trees and love these, these deer and other animals that are out here in this forest, then why am I not out there with them? Why am I inside this recording studio? And it's just little things like that just, just open up my heart, that it's like, okay, wisdom time, wisdom time. It's time to open your heart and, and figure out what are you supposed to learn here. And I, I think one of the things that, that really kind of opened up my heart today was something that I, that I put into my daily prayer. I'm, one, I, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. In the way that, um, you know, I, I'm not afraid that somebody's going to walk up to my journals and read them. I'm not afraid of that for years. I, I've just, you know, I write and I put it on the, on the coffee table. Anybody, you walk in my house, you can read my journals. And uh, where I say that I'm a fool is that, is that I also put my prayers in there. Um, I, I, when I pray, I don't, I don't want to just sit here and have words moving through my head and heart. I want to be able to go back to those prayers on any given day and, and reignite the situation, the moment, that, that one time where, where there was a connection with the universe. And, and this is not going to be a religious piece. I just, I just wanted to go across something here that, that really kind of really opened up my, my heart this morning. It says that, that uh, I, was, I was talking about the partnership and the path and the way that the you know, universe works through each and every one of us. And I go, wisdom works when it's applied. Wisdom works when it's applied. How often are you given something, a message from a boss or from a friend, from a bird that's screaming in the background to to the rising of the sun? Wisdom works when it's applied. Are you applying yourself to the situation of now? Hey, it's Arrow, and this is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day, and today's date happens to be December 23rd, 2021, two days away from the Lord's Day. A smartphone shares so many lessons. That digital device that we're all holding, trust me, it has its share of flaws. I love it when a pop-up reads, currently offline. It allows me to open up my own space and check and find out, well, where is my heart? Am I too offline? Is this just a message? What's feeding each and every one of us the information that we need on a daily basis? How about when a website says, unable to connect? I mean, that sounds like pretty much our days, right? Days and nights. The first thing that I do is I grab a pen and I start to write, to reconnect with that creative child inside. These signs are endlessly around each and every one of us, but how many of us are willing to recognize it as a sign? Is there such a thing as being too aware of your space? We spend the majority of the day listening and reacting to everything. I see it on Facebook. I, I watch it on, on, on Instagram. We're no different than Alexa, except if she were to ever ask any of us a question, where are we going to go to find the answer as fast as she gives us the answer? I'd probably look at the digital device and just smile, nodding my head up and down like a bobble. There are places that we reach that make sense, only to find out that our inner core is asking questions and the answers are always in front of us. Where do you find them? Where do you go? It's why I write. I do two different writing sessions. In the morning, it's my morning pages, which were heavily inspired by Julia Cameron's The Artist Way back in 1994, July of that year. And then I do a defrag journal, which begins in the afternoon. And that was inspired by a horrid, dark place that I went into in November of 2017. I write because I need to make that connection. I need to be aware of where I am. And I do bring up a lot of trash. But what do you do with the trash? Well, you're not supposed to know what to do with it, except just get it out of you. Remove it. You know, I, Dr. David once told me, write, just write, and then throw it away. And I used to do that. I used to do that with my poetry. I would write and I would just throw it away. And then it hit me. Why are you throwing away 
poetry. It, it's a piece of your art. It's a piece of your creative mind. Why are you? Th- it may not be a beautiful piece of poetry to you in this moment of now, but maybe one day you'll come back or a future reader will come back. And, and what you were experiencing as dark or as shadowed as it might have been, it could actually be the light in somebody else's world. Wisdom works when it's applied. What are you applying in your life? As we grow into a brand new season of years and chapters and months that'll fly by so fast that we'll question, how is this even possible when it felt like getting to the 12th grade in school took a lifetime? Wisdom works when it's applied. You've been given a lot, but have you applied it? I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.